Heart rate variability is hands down one of the best ways to check in and measure the overall state of your body and even mind. I've been tracking it consistently for coming on 10 years now and some brand new 2024 research shows something quite stunning. So in this video, I'm gonna break down that study. I'll share the takeaways and more importantly, how you can start implementing this into your day and routine and notice improvements in your overall health and performance. I won't go into too much depth about what heart rate variability is, but essentially it's a biometric that measures the time in between your heartbeats. The more consistent that is, aka the less variability between heartbeats, the more stressed out and taxed your body's nervous system is. It's a very sensitive biomarker that's impacted by all kinds of different facets of health and wellness and fitness, sleep and recovery. But because it's so sensitive, it's also an excellent way to get a snapshot of where you currently are. Now, there's a couple common mistakes, such as comparing your score versus your friends. That doesn't work because it's incredibly bio-individual. My very highest scores don't even approach my girlfriend's scores at her lowest, and that's not because she's healthier than me. At the same time, too high of a score, paradoxically, can indicate that your body is overreaching, it's extremely taxed, and is pulling out all the stops in order to repair and recover as fast as possible. Plus there's the issue of algorithms, a lot of different devices. Devices capture and process and display the information differently. So your Apple Watch might say one thing, your Aura Ring says something different, and your Whoop Band says something different than those two. So what really matters is your trend over time, and you wanna see a gradual increase. So now on to this new study and what makes it so exciting. So a systematic review of the research on heart rate variability, HRV, analyzed the data of over 24,000 participants. This was across 12 different studies. Each of them found high correlations between heart rate variability and cognition or your brain power. Using HRV as a means of predicting cognition is exciting in and of itself, but there's more. The researchers also speculated that we can use HRV as a therapeutic target for training, meaning that you can train HRV and improve your cognition. Luckily, there's lots of ways of improving our HRV. You can do breath work, you can build resilience to extreme temperatures, you can focus on recovery, you can sleep better, you can nourish your body with critical nutrients. Breath work is the most powerful and fastest acting. I actually interviewed Dr. Jay Wiles at Hanu Health because they have a real-time HRV monitor that shows how your HRV HRV fluctuates throughout your daily life, so you can find the things that increase it and decrease it. There are lots of other systems you can use to train HRV specifically, ranging from iPhone apps to the one I personally use and like, which is the Sensei Neurofeedback Brain Training Headset. I have another review on that here on YouTube. I'll put the card up here and a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out. And while you can capture HRV data from something like the Whoop, the Apple Watch, the Aura Ring, BioStrap, a lot of these devices they don't show you how it's changing in real time. Therefore, it's hard to use that for training. Perhaps the biggest takeaway from this new study for me though, was it really highlights the interconnected nature of the body. Another win for holistic health. While this study focused on the heart-brain axis, there are tons of different bi-directional communication channels throughout the body, going from organs and tissues and bodily systems to another. A few less known, but still incredibly impactful axes throughout the body include the kidney heart axis, liver gut axis, immune gut axis, adrenal immune axis, the gut skin axis, the muscle bone axis, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, HPA axis for short, the well-known gut brain axis, and the bone muscle axis. So what this means is that by working on either end of that axis, you can improve the other so if I improve the health and functionality of my heart, I'll also be at the same time improving the health and function of my kidneys. Same with the gut skin access. So I can work on and improve my gut, which will in turn improve my skin. Or I can improve my skin, which will in turn improve my gut. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you've made it this far, go ahead and look in that description where I put a link to my article on the best way to train HRV and also some of the cool top devices that can help you with that. Or just drop a comment 1% because not many people make it to the end of these videos. You did. You're a badass. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.